Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Ramadan and um, don't forget to do a lot of good deeds. Help your mother, your father in doing, you know, the daily chores and uh, read your namaz carefully, you know, focus more, try and read more and more Quran and try to do tasbih, you know, you can hold the tasbih and do it, you know, because the reward is so much in this month and I don't want you guys to lose on that. And especially don't forget to make a lot of duas because duas are accepted so much in this month, especially Especially before you do iftar or open your fast, remember to make a lot of duas. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the companions of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and the companion that we'll talk about today is Hazrat Abu Huraira, the light of knowledge. So let's get started. So his real name was Abdul Shams. Abu Huraira was his luck-up. Do you know why he got that luck-up? Because he loved to play with cats. He also loved playing with children and he was a very kind man. He lived in Yemen and was a shepherd. A man from his country came back from Medina and told him about the teachings of Prophet Muhammad He was very impressed and decided to go to Medina. He went to Medina, met Prophet and accepted Islam. In Medina, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had made all kind of uh, like he had made a kind of like a school in which people would learn about Quran. These people were called Ashab Sufa. They had come from different places and were living there just to learn from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hazrat Abu Huraira also joined them and did not waste any time and learned so much from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He would stay there day and night gaining knowledge. He stayed there for four years and learned a lot. During the time, um, during the time, Hazrat Abu Huraira lived in Medina to gain knowledge. He was he had very less food to eat. He would faint from hunger and would not complain. Sometimes he would ask someone the meaning of a Quranic verse just so that the person would offer him some food. Hazrat Abu Huraira left the life of comfort and came to Medina to gain knowledge. He quoted so many hadiths from our dear Prophet. It was because of his sacrifices that we now know so many sayings of our prophet. Hazrat Abu Huraira loved his mother but she had not accepted Islam. He would cry so much because he knew that if she died being a disbeliever, she would not go to heaven. He went to Prophet ﷺ and asked him to pray for his mother. When Hazrat Abu Huraira went back home, he saw that his mother had taken a bath and was waiting for him. She read her Shahadat or Kalima to become a Muslim and became a Muslim. Hazrat Abu Huraira was very happy that his mother was now a Muslim. Hazrat Abu Huraira is our Muslim hero. His sacrifice gave us so much knowledge of Hadith and the way of living of our Prophet We all love and respect Hazrat Abu Huraira. May Allah raise his level in heaven. Amin. So that guys was a brief overview about the life of Hazrat Abu Huraira. I hope you guys learned something. Share it with your family and friends and I'll inshallah see you in the next one. Till then, fi amanillah.